Welcome back to another animation analysis, and this time we're going to take a look at the full trailer for Raya and the Last Dragon. Very excited to watch this. I watched this once, had a lot of cool stuff, especially towards the end. Let's go back to the beginning here. It doesn't waste any time with establishing shots, but before I continue, hi, my name is JD, and I do acting analysis clips. I do animation analysis clips like these. I do rig reviews, proc reviews, all kinds of stuff. This is YouTube. This is the pitch. So if you like that stuff, you can subscribe if you want to or not totally up to you, but that is that for the pitch. Let's look at this full trailer. And again, this is going to be somewhat of a mix of analysis and I can't help myself sometimes I just have to gush and it's kind of a reaction, but it's not one of those animator reacts kind of overdone, but I'm going to just follow along with this. This, whenever I look at something like this here, I always feel like, all right, this is a good shot for interns or someone that's new to learn the pipeline to populate the scene here, but it's always good for contrast. Actually, someone just uh, submitted something in terms of my workshop, I wanted to do background animation, crowd stuff. You can see just the different types of walks, there's different speeds and everything, but I do want to go back to the very beginning here as we see her contemporary outfit and everything. Whenever there's something like this, the reason why I'm fragging through this is this. I'm a big fan of hand poses, and I think if you watch some of my clips, you know I'm a big fan of these. And I always look at how do you get off of a pose? Like, do you offset by little fingers? Like, which fingers are still there? Which ones do relax first? So it's always interesting to see in terms of polish. I love all that stuff. All right, first thing we have here is baby. Speaking of fingers here, you can see the detail. But I was looking at this here. I was looking at the bounciness and how it kind of goes forward. Super cute with little toesies. Look at that. Q, 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 they're offset in your pose, or uh, as always, new semesters are starting for students. So students, if you watch this, think of asymmetry in terms of, even if you go out and it wants to go out with both arms, you're gonna have some twinning, but there's still a little bit of a change in terms of silhouette, angles of feet. Even if you have twinning, you can still offset a little bit, but again, twinning is not always wrong. Actually, I just watched a kid, not a baby, but a kid when I picked up my kid from school. Uh, a little girl was waiting for the dad and she also had her arms out like that and it's it's natural sometimes you just twin you want to grab someone under the armpits you are going to have a twin pose so twinning is always something in mirroring that you hear avoid it but every now and then it's okay you have it in there this is an interesting little weight assignment that doesn't really have weight but i'm looking at this in terms of you're still going to have a squeeze of the fingers going in and you're going to have you can see this here look at the distance of that the hand and the arm here the arm still goes up because you're going to have fleshiness and the cloth that goes up until this reaches here, the shoulder, and then it goes up. So even if it's something light, think about well, what is the character holding? Is this something soft? Is it something hard? Is it going to slide up until it hits an area that can't slide up? Little details, but it's there. Whoever did this, nicely done. Like that little, hey, little very, oh, what am I lifting here? Classic, classic. You got the little face here of a baby <laughs> and of course it goes over there cute this is what i want to look at lots of little creatures in this trailer that's cute this guy distracting with food while the other ones are going over there and then it goes straight into your bouncing ball right you got your ups and downs you got your hang time you got your full extension and stretch curvature along the path and you got that even this look at that size i <laughs> can't get there and then a little adjustment and jump. Cute. Let's look at this here for her. Nice. I also like this too. She's going to turn, but she's leading. It's like, hey, she's about to talk to someone. She is talking to someone over there. Then leads with the head, then leads with the mouth, almost pulling this way, eyes going this way into a turn. And then you can see the reveal of that. And this is what I wanted to take a look at. Cute. I'm always a fan of little creatures. Uh, you can see they all behave differently. A little guy holding this. You got that drag here in the hands. Nice curvature. Look at that. Nice reversal. That's why I love looking at this here. All over this. Look at that. You can see the feetsies here. Push. Push off this way. And then curl full extension. Those are the little things. I'm going to do a uh, most common student mistake soon for an FNA. And it talks about there's details and effort. Like, are you going to go in there and go frame by frame and do this? This is a slidey surface, right? So you're going to have the slidiness pivoting off the heel there. I know this is extremely 
Peaky were five minutes in and I'm already frame by framing, but this is very cool and I do want to take a look at this. You got a soft little hat. Bounciness there, it's great. All right, let's watch this again here. Ooh, but before I do, you can see the stretch and face. Bam, goes back up into a squash. The section not as much. Nice, got asymmetry in the face there. There's so much to look at, it's so cool. Oh, and then we got a bit faster timing. Look at that. Let me go frame by frame. Got a kid here. Gets off of the grip, right? Out of that. Nice stretch, but still not super straight, but you have a nice stretchiness with a nice arc. Super clean silhouette. Look at that one frame. And it's great because we registered this, right? The hold is so long that the motion blur is stopping. So this is a very clean fairly non-blur pose that we register if we play this in real time you see this you just see that and that serves as an anticipation into that one frame you don't need the grip and everything that's really really cool so that's a tip for any of you if you do fast moves find a way to slow something down that we need to see so that the blur goes away if you're doing something with blur so we have a very clean uh, uh registration of that pose i love this here too change of the fingers into that great hand poses get back into a triangular simple form here for silhouette we can see this it's great she still holds off to that and oh that's great too hold 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 on the face the rest still turns around and then one other one frame oh cool. hold there and you can see that drag in the fingers right from where they used to be into this a change in the wrist i love looking at that stuff you might go this is overboard but i love this look at that it's great and then very stretchy very <laughs> structure squash and stretchy baby there and you can see this on the bounce stretch out <laughs> flattens and then elongates again even here clear pose look at that clear for the grab here into that <laughs> into her face as she goes back this is so great it's gonna be on a long analysis clips holy moly i love this for um body mechanics right as she falls she goes down here boom you got that impact hard hard surface on the hard hip here boom and then this falls down compression here and immediately wanting to go back and see this here straightening on that leg and then the push off here slightly in the shadows but it's there it's great and then the thing is this right she goes this way that momentum is there and then oh in my face the face goes back but this arm still has momentum going to the left so it has a bit of a move this way before everything settles it's great and then you got that blinds whoa let me just look at the baby here is done clean posing and silhouette goes down this goes down for a push off right so you got the right balance foot back there to push the baby off and this too you can see full extension full extension into a <laughs> nice baby waddle and you got the little stop here Bop! into that <laughs> nice it dissipates this here and we got the compression right even if it's a little little thing and a little thing here still has weight it's, and it's going to take the arms down first. It's going to land on the hand and that on that hand here, holding the arm down first, and then the body. And you got the drag overlap on the feet. It's great. Love all this. Looking at this guy, how he looks over first. We both look ready to get out. Yeah, it's great. So cool. Clean hand silhouettes here. Whoever did this, <laughs> nice back here calm baby you got your opening all the shapes asymmetry and curvature oh it's great here too that uh, nice you got facial shapes pushing into a squash and then cool you got that compression i'm looking at that stuff and i love it compression on the fingers this one is less a body mechanic c if that's an expression it's not <laughs> spoiler it's not then the teaser, cute though, seeing the, the bounciness as it goes like this. Boom, boom, boom. It's cute though, has still enough weight, but still cute and light there into that roll. 
they really don't care <laughs> about any of this except this guy. Oh, great. That's what I want to look at. There's lots of action stuff. I would say not too much fighter mechanics, but just lots of different fighter mechanics in terms of creatures and uh, action-y things where you want to see this here. Great. They have that in the mouth. Great, too. Look at that. Baby. <laughs> That's cool. Ooh, look at that. Nice. That's what I want to look at, too, when I was watching this. This stood out to me. You got all this bounciness here. Guy in the foreground, squash and stretch out. But I want to take a look at this here. This creature continues or stops here, right? As the baby continues, lands on the head, squashes them, full extension. Look at that. Nice, nice lines here. Now, baby's trying to look at that face. Cool. That's what I want to take a look at here. Yeah, hold, 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 and then stretch into that hit where this goes back towards her. Cool. That's cool too, I love this too. She still has the focus on them. Just watch this. Yeah, 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 as she does this, she holds the focus and this is not distracting enough. She has enough skills to just cut this away while still looking at them. It's cool, so I'll take a look at that. Hmm, very specific hand poses there. angle to last line of action always a clear view of the eyes landing again i see this a lot in uh jump assignments right you get full extension on push off and land you got an offset one leg but it's not a three-point landing nicely done <laughs> that's a great one look at that this up out, up that's a great one <laughs> Getting into that, and then we got a slow-mo scene. Always a classic in animated features. Looking at finger poses. It's cute though. All right. Doing something else here. Time has passed. Clearly they are gonna be friends. She caught up with them. <laughs> Cute. They're having cutesy creatures. But the thing is, you know, if you have your shot, you still have to make these all different. Timing-wise, attitude-wise, posing-wise, they're all just different enough. It's cute. It's a good reminder, even something like this. All right, look at time. Mm, good walk there. Good attitude. It's a cool walk afterwards when she takes the hat off and everything. So I want to take a look at this. This is less analysis, but me looking at sets. Ooh. Where are we going to be? That's cool. We saw that in the teaser. Same with that. This is new. Cool. Cool renders. Hold on. Don't look at the face. I believe this is cool too. The reminder, you want to hold those M shapes or B shapes or whatever you have, where you have pressed lips. This is not like rolled in, but enough that you hold this over one, two, at least two frames. And you can see this and then it goes in right if i take my scribble away you can see how that lower lip goes in and there's a slight compression if you do a, a, a lip compression over one frame you're just going to pop i was always told and i've always followed this to hold this for at least two frames and not static the same ones you still have some compression so it's still going to read and then you can pop open into that you can see how much this opens here jaw opens pulls this down pulls the shapes down to here Yeah, it's a cool reminder. You got your movement. Even in these corners, you got a slight arc. People can come together again. This is classic. Let me just look at the lip sync. I haven't actually, I have sound on for myself. If I look at this here, people can come together again. it's fairly in sync. I'm, I'm saying it just because in live action, when it's a shot like that, I'm going to destroy every movie for you or TV. Look at the characters that are talking, but over the shoulder and blurry. The lip sync, or at least the jaw sync, is always off. Because they just pick, you know, whatever is the best moment for this character. But I'm telling you, the lip sync in live action, always off. Because the edit is just focusing on this. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Back from the teaser. Got your transitional shoo into that. There's more story stuff there. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Cool to see that revealed, actually, in this trailer. This is also not to be underestimated. See, when I look at this here, you might go, okay, 
if you animate this, you see nothing, right? It's just this big silhouette. Character goes down and goes up. Now, as an assignment, I would probably give it more light. You see a bit more of the chest and the hip um, relationship and all of that. But that is still an interesting short clip to animate as an assignment if you're a student, right? Someone is tall, there's something low. How do you go underneath? Is it too narrow? Is it going to be an underneath ducking plus a turn a bit 90 degrees to fit through this? And then back up into a stance where, you know, your foot is back there, takes a step for the character to be all straight again. So that is a good sidestep, half turn, sidestep again, settle. Again, just throwing it out there for students. It's, it's common, I'm very guilty of this too, to do shots that are, you know, 10, 15, 30, 45 seconds. If you look at my, my old shots, they're always so long. This is a great shot to undertake to learn bottom mechanics. But anyway, ooh, let's watch this. Love this here. He says here, butt kickery, but I'm looking at the accents in the head, the left and right, but also how that is in the body. And you can also the change in the fingers, how there's a bit of a squeezing in there. Watch this again, butt kickery, not to be underestimated. It was also very common in lip sync for students to just add this. And if you watch my clips, you know I'm always harping on this, but it is true. It's a lot of times just you add lip sync and that's it. But when he says, but, but kickery, you know, when you hear the kickery, those shakes, those accents, that is also reflected in the head and the body. And it doesn't always have to be like this, but it definitely helps to connect this. And I think that's definitely underused and not done enough in student shots. And also, actually, look at the lip sync. Kickery. Nicely simplified. You don't want to go too crazy in your shapes, in your jobs, otherwise you get the chatter. Even something like this could be really cute. Look, if you just look at the length of this, right? Boom, that's it. So if someone goes, I want to do something about the mechanics, I would say, well, this is complicated because you've got three creatures in this, but it is an interesting setup. What if it's just only one? And you can do a little bit of a cute, you know, mechanics for a creature, which is fairly human at this point, right? But this is an interesting, wobbly, balancey body mechanics moment. It doesn't always have to be just a classic jump up and down or from A to B. Q2 with that shape there, leaning all over this way. It's cute. Definitely pushing your asymmetry there. You got your squashiness here and then your stretchiness here. Nice finger poses into that. Love all this here. All right. This is from the studio that brought you Moana. Looking at footfalls and not that much to see. Ooh, but then this here. Nerding out, let me see. Yep, yep, yep. We got a little bit of a detail in the fingers. See that as they go back, you got the weight on this and then pushing a little bit on that. It's a short shot though. But even this to me is interesting, right? When you do a body mechanics, it doesn't just have to be a step forward on that. And you can push this where it's a bigger lean, where this pushes this more, where you then have shoulder up and then the head go this way for a balance. Oh, back from the teaser. Yeah, that's what we saw last time. You can check out. Nope, actually, that's someone else fighting. That's not her. Yep, yep, yep. That's a different one. I can't wait for the action scene in this movie. I'm going to throw that out there. It's going to be great. More creatures. More Lambus bread. Squash. Stretch. Great. It's cool stuff, too. All right. Seems to be the bad guy. All right. Seems to be the antagonist. And frozen. More lemmas red. Ah, short shots. Not a lot to look at, but this goes almost back into someone has to go somewhere and has to go lower or push something to the side. Still an interesting side move for mechanics. Cool. I like this here. It's like this goes first and that pulls the hair over and then she reacts to it, but still has this higher, everything gets pulled this way. So she gets also pulled up that arm higher. Then we get to this and this is the meat and the potatoes. I want to take a look at that. The blurry there on the push. Then we get to see the dragon. There we are. The reveal of the dragon cute design too. Nice finger poses. Actually, I'm doing finger poses right now on something. I can't talk about it, of course. Uh, finger library, hand library, and I'm looking at all of that. Oh, my character has less fingers. This is your 
IK move. I just did an IK thing where it's very tricky when you have the rotation of this is fairly stable. I don't know if this is cloth or the elbow going in. You can play this. Hmm, I don't know if it's cloth or the elbow as she strains the arm. But it gives you a bit of a disconnect there. Oh, nice. Now we get into detail. Speaking of again, hand poses. Oh, it has the same amount of fingers that I'm doing. <laughs> Spoiler! But I'm not saying who, so don't get me fired. You can definitely get to see the squash and stretchings in the shapes. This is always great. It just feels looser and more organic to have that, right? You pull the jaw down, it stretches the face, bring it all up and you bring it out again through the cheeks. You don't want it to be like a water balloon, all soft in the cranium and the skull. So you still want to have enough squashness through there. Then you can see the shapes. Pinchiness on the sides, <laughs> somewhat mirrored here. It's a great performance. I'm gonna play this in real time. <laughs> Love all this. Again, this is for me nerding out on head accents and movements, right? Holding this together and stop with the overlap there on the head. She says, like the, best. The, best. "The best, the best." Just that, you know, even this from this, now she says dragon, right? The, the best. best dragon. And it's that you don't want to stay all the time, of course, unless it's warranted. Like for her, she goes, wait, what? It's like a very slow, I'm what? Like the best dragon. <laughs> but it's just head accents. I'm always a big fan. Even if just like a longer prolonged tilt this way into then changing it at the very end, just for contrast. That's great too. This is great. I love all this. For me, I was looking at this when I played this for the first time. The uh, the push off and just those exaggerated toe finger poses. And then the impact. Boom. Look at that. You got the jiggle in here. It's great. Also, that move up and hold, right? Up, hold, step, and steps on knuckles. Or is that pushed out there? Let me see on the other hand, doesn't do it. No, 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 fingers out. It's really great though. How long is this shot? Let's check this out, right? Ready, and? Have you ever done like a group project, but there's like that one kid who didn't pitch in as much, but still ended up with the same grade? <laughs> That's still pretty long. I was gonna say, ah, it's not too long. No, 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 that is longer. But it's great in terms of, and I left the sound on, demonetized probably. But it's great. I love all this, how that impact, brings that up because of the push of this leg. Then you got the softness of this here and that little hold and a little bit of a little gesture down there while this still takes a step with offset, you know, rotated off pause. So it doesn't go flat default. I love all the jiggle here. That quick turn, I reverberate to here. Oh, especially here again, watch that. That'll Bam, accent through all of that. Jiggle. So good. Who animated this? So good. Love all that. One leg up and then quick drop into this. And again, this goes first. I say again, because I always think about what I tell my students or the shots that we looked at when you have to think in terms of the weight, right? This is going to be somewhat heavier than this, lighter than this. How they stop and which one stops first. Where is their drag overlap? Nothing settles at the same time. So great. And then last thing with the with the tail coming in. <laughs> this would be something also for someone who starts off, I would say, at a company, right? Here's a shot, couple of rigs, couple of poses, not much to animate, but big to pose out. They all have to be different. It's cute. I love all these guys. She's different, 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 different. Obviously, they're all somewhat shocked. But this would be a great shot to start with. A little bit of a moving hold. And all of those with a little bit of decompression, the shoulders. Great. All right, here we go. Time for the montage stuff, right? All right. Got to have your offsets in here too. Even this here, you got your contrast of heights. I don't know, for me, it's always in terms of shot composition, right? You still have to put in all those characters. You got to look at variation so they're not all super straight, unless that's the point. It's like some clones army or some robots. But you can see all the offsets there. You got to think about that. Cool shot, by the way. Clean silhouette. Really cool look. I'm really looking forward to this. It's going to look fantastic. 
Yeah. There we go. Face off. Also lean. That's something else. Again, all the students are going to be tired of me saying, if you're students, but you know, if you're talking, it, it goes back into don't grab your character, right? Who's in a default. This is a horrible thing. But head, arms out, default pose, right? Your rig pose. And you bring down those arms and that's it. Sure. But then what's the attitude here, right? There's a slight lean. You got a little side tilt of the head. You could do your whole lip sync like that. That's already an attitude. Cool. Love little tiny, tiny detail things in the head, in the eyes here. Look that. It's great. That's cool too. Cloth at the end though, but it's kind of a neat. What is she going to do? It's kind of like anticipation before the visual reveal. Still clean silhouette in terms of color. It's great. Slight reaction on here, not too much. <laughs> There's slightly more work than her. Oh, neat. Look at that. Look at that sword. Love all this. That's when I go frame by frame. Look at what you can do. Good reminder, too, if you work on a feature, right, you're still going to have blur. You have to look at, well, some things you're not going to see that clearly. So sometimes you're going to have a clear silhouette because the blur is not so pronounced because the movement kind of ends. And then you can push that pose. Nice offsets in the fingers. That's cool too. In terms of body mechanics, like that could be a body mechanic shot right again, right? You have someone holding something, but then this is getting pulled. Well, it's going to pull this first. It's going to rotate your wrist, and then it's going to pull your arm. And at one point, the arm can't pull more unless you dislocate it from the socket there. So it's going to pull and rotate from this side, the chest, and then the root follows. How long is this shot? Cuts out soon. You can do a bit of a continuation with maybe a one step forward couple seconds that's your bottom mechanic shot right love all this and then you can have a little bit of a surprise moment of whoa what happened not too long i mean the academy semester is going to start in what two weeks ish something like that i will definitely show this or at least talk about this that would be a nice short shot to do cool yeah now we are into the action montage they all have leans too, though. Clean silhouettes. Look at that. That's cool. I love this. This was really cool when I watched it the first time. I love the energy of craziness going this way, but more determined, different speed the other way. And especially here. I love stuff like that. She's very locked to the camera. Everybody going this way. She goes this way. Foreground elements as a wipe into this. I love that stuff. Cool little handheldy, actiony moment there that's great don't underestimate how hard it is to do i mean walks in general hard but downstairs i like this here as she throws this off just opening up it's great too there we go fighting i'm still here looking at it poses before the fight also again the lighting house for clean silhouette That's cool. Definitely see you pushed facial shapes. There I say, I'm going to be critical in live action mocap -y things. It's never pushed enough. I know, I'm critical here. This is push, I like this. But it always feels not enough in live action CG characters. Got to push it. Got to push it. Oh, great little moment of, <gasps> and ready to go as well. All right, text. <laughs> not going to. Critique text here. Yeah, yeah, they're back. They do a lot of staring in this. All of these. Oh. Cool. That stuff to go through frame by frame. Once you have this here, you go, all right, well, what I'm going to do is do everything very clearly in terms of silhouettes. With that type of angle and lighting just asks for it. See, that's what I'm going to look forward to. Those fights. That's cool. With weapons, hand to hand. You can see here the I love this too. All of that action going up and turn while the head still stays focused. And this is always cool. Those moments of a slight glimpse of non-blur face. Look at that. Cool. I like it. More action stuff to go through. You got your squash and stretch bouncy ball here. 
I'm going to say it again. If you are a student watching this, this is just like a bouncing ball with character. You should never skip over <laughs> bouncing balls. That face. Oh, that face. I love it. Here it is again. Okay, you squash, stretch, squash again. That's a lot of action there. How long is this shot? Let's watch this. Also cool to animate. Oh, here's another one. Lots of characters. You gotta go, all right, I gotta make these all look different. All the poses, what the paws are doing. These are cool though, I like these. It's very serious, always very serious. That's cool. Oh, we get to see what she's about to do here. Even in this here, watch out. Ready, and you can see that slight change as Dragon goes down, right? You got your ready, clean pose, no blur. Massive squash here. And then goes over. But then as she goes over here, you got that up hold and then lean down, right? Rotate with this side into that turn. Watch this in real time. You get a little bit of hiccup there, as in like good contrast. What, what, what? See that? And it's very wonky here. It's not just, I'm going to animate that, but it has a little bit of a hold there and then down. Just even shots like these. Quick moment. I mean, this could be longer in, in the movie, obviously, but. Think about contrast so it's not all repetitive or even. My frame through these mouth shapes. Tricky to find free rigs or even paid rigs that have nice appealing facial features and mouth shapes there. Cool. That's always tricky to do again. Say it again. I guess this trailer analysis is student suggestion analysis. Uh, contact, right? You got one character, could be both tall, both tiny, one tall, one tiny, whatever. But arms out, compression, another arm, more compression, however you want to do it, right? Picking it up or just a squeeze. Or, but you're going to feel this in the chest, in the shoulders, in the head. You can see this here. All those little things here, especially in the close-up like that. But that would be an interesting body mechanic shot too. It's cute little snuggle there with the head. Oh, you got a little stretch there in the neck. Again, they're all <laughs> very... Oh, that's their moment in the trailer all the time. Very, very surprised. That's cool. Ooh, I like that. It's cute. Again, I love the body mechanics of this dragon. It's very cool. So much action. I would love to hear uh, comments from the Disney animators who did this. Like, how intense was this movie in terms of mechanics and things to follow in terms of arcs, <laughs> the pain, all of these got absolute clean arcs, you know, have that no hiccups there. Nice. Got your hand pose clean in there in terms of silhouette. <sighs> Sha -ba -ba -ba. Lots of hand poses here. Even this here, look at that. Up. And then into this and hold. A little bit of overshoot. Watch this again. Even if that's just the length of your shot, you still got to look at clean posing and nice arcs. It's always there. I torture my students all the time when it comes to arcs. It's brutal. <laughs> this was great. I love this too. A little reaction there too. Closing eyes, going back. Even something like that. A bit of an arc in there. Got that reaction with the hands. Clean silhouette. Nicely done. This was great. A little moment of down squash. Not a massive squash, but it's that thing of a take, anticipation going down. to going up into that. And always nice with the hair sim following along there. Look at just the head accents there as she goes down, right? I'm gonna play this in real time afterwards. Up, says this little thing, but then quickly goes down and then over. It's almost like she still has the like the dragon looks of the head turns and all that. Watch this again, ready? Curious to see. I don't know if that's going what's going to happen, but you know, if like a, a long body with the head, like you know, like a tail that's your dragon, there might be a lot of leading. 
and driving the motion through the head. And I wonder if that's what she's going to do as a, in a human form, if everything is always leading with the head. This might just be right now, just because she's looking at all of this, but I'm just curious once I watch the movie, is that going to be a character thing of, she still moves like a dragon, <laughs> limpy hands, you know, like paws, you know, your little butt wiggle. It's cute. I like it. <laughs> also nice. Always looking at this here. For you as a student, I'm saying again, again, this is the student analysis. Screenshot. Every time it's something cool, take a screenshot. Make a library of those poses or, or whatever facial poses you have. I tell this to my students every semester. You got a point like that. <laughs> it's a great phrase to end. <laughs> That's awesome. Love that one. But, you know, holding something. Let's go back. Or just that nice triangle pose there, right? Simple and clean. So for you as a student, I would look at trailers like these or movie you know, moments, or whatever movies you have, like, you know, different ways of having a fist or holding fingers together. You know, how is she holding this with that index out and these in? For me, it's always mental notes and then screenshot this, put this into your folder and that will be your reference. Like how are Disney animators doing this? If you want to animate something Disney style, that you have to stick to a specific style. It's just appealing hand poses in general, but something to look at and always remember the last moment of squashiness and then not in theaters for me probably i can't wait to watch this either way it would be cool to see some theaters though but march mm, given the current pandemic i'm not sure probably watch this at home but anyway that is the full trailer but again you're holding right you got hands together just going back to what i said before in terms of hands right you got this here how they get together so not just a screenshot of the pose, but what happens to the fingers as they hold something, as they grip something, as they let go of something, right? Again, this is your one way index further out. This is contrast. This is different than this. Screenshot. <laughs> Take note of this, you know, something like that. As you curl out your hands, is a massive lead with the thumb, and then the rest follows. And then again, the thumb goes in first into that. So that's what I would take out if you're a student. Look at those moments of. Well, if they blink, let me see. Is there a moment where someone just blinks? Let me actually pause this. So you don't have to watch me scrub. All right. So you unpause this and you can see how you have a slight ease in, right? Just with the upper part here. And then it cuts a little bit into the pupils. And then it's slightly lower, not in the middle. You got your compression, little bit, right? Almost not fully closed. And then you ease out of that. Then you open up, but ease into this also with the eyebrows there. Like that's something I would look at. This is kind of like a, a you know, shocked, huh? It's not super fast, like something is splashing or something in front of them that's kind of like a, a quick blink. So that's something I would look at where you have blinks, hand poses, and then take note, write it down. How long does it take? There's actually something here that I thought was really cool when you look at, again, head accents, but also eyebrows. Let's watch this again. This in, right? When she goes, that one kid, she says, like that one kid, and pitch in, pitch in. The pitch has that, that little pitch in. So when, you, when when she's saying this, one thing, a little pitch in, it's a little higher note there, just in the voice and the energy and in the, in the, not the volume, but just how she says it. And you got that extra accent there and you bring that up with eyebrows, a bit of stretchiness in the whole face. And just a little bit of a, a little bit of a accent there to pitch in still with an arc. I would look at this, how do they do that? Or eye darts, right? One frame for this amount. When do you want to have more? This is kind of like a half blink. Again, it's okay to have half blinks. Look at how are they animating this? What are they leading with, with the head for certain moments like this? And how it's a nice arc at the end there. Look at this, it goes over this way, stops and then corrects over this way. And then you got that little one frame dart again. A little bit of squeeze there, just stuff like that. You got a little bit of a dart for this. It's a little bit of a change in the lids. So stuff like that. This is why I do this, and this is what I would highly recommend that students do, where you just go through this, like I said, look at how are they doing asymmetry in the poses, general variety and contrast in posing once you have multiple characters. How are they blinking? Is it, you know, like a shocked blink? Is it tired blink? Is it, you know, a bored blink? You got a bit of a you know, quarter blink or something. Like all those things I would look at, write down, analyze, make mental note, write it down, whatever you do right, to learn. There's so much you can look at. Walks, like I said, 
attitudes and leans and start thinking about that as you do your shots. But anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. This was really cool to see. Can't wait to watch the movie. But that is that for me for the analysis. Thank you for watching. If this is something that you like, feel free to subscribe. You know the pitch here. Look at all my stuff. If you like this, don't want to miss it. You can subscribe at any time. You don't have to, but I would love it. And I'm going to leave it at that here. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next clip.